Hello, welcome to my new monthly vlog video. I start this month with a crochet commission. I need to make three scarves and this is the first one. Just look how pretty the colors are. This yarn is from Fleece and Harmony on Prince Edward Island in Canada. Even though this is an open stitch, very lacy pattern, this scarf will provide lots of warmth because this is a 100% wool yarn. I already have a tutorial for this pattern on my channel. This is the scarf that I made for that tutorial. And this scarf was made with chunkier yarn. So in this scarf, I have one, two, three pattern repeats. But in this one, I have four. One, two, three, four. Another thing that I've done differently in this scarf is I crocheted a row of shells into the bottom of the starting chain. So this scarf has a straight edge right here, but this one has a slightly scalloped edge, so it matches the edge on the other end of the scarf. So one scarf is already done, and I still need to crochet two more, and this is the yarn for the other two scarves. This yarn is from Expression Fiber Arts, and both of these yarns are 100% superwash merino wool. And once I finish these scarves, I will show them to you. Here I have a hank of black speckled yarn. And this yarn is a blend of wool and nylon. This yarn is from Dye Lots Studio on Etsy. Back in 2020, Diane, the owner of this shop, sent me three hanks of this yarn and I used two hanks to make myself this lovely lacy capelet and I still had one hank left. I do have a tutorial for this capelet, I will link it in the description box below and by the way I will leave the links to all the tutorials and all the yarn companies and yarn shops that I mentioned in this video I will leave the links in the description box below. So back in 2020, I made myself this capelet and I used up two hanks of this yarn, but I still had one in my stash for quite a while. And now I finally have an idea what to do with it. I have this lovely, very warm, 100% wool Norwegian cardigan. I'm not sure if it was handmade, but it is made in Norway. And I think that if I make a hat from this yarn, black with white speckles, that hat will match this cardigan really well. So this is another thing on my crochet list this month. And I already have one project this month that I would like to show you. I crocheted myself a pair of socks. I made them with Naptime yarn by Lion Brand Yarns. And this is a chenille yarn. So these socks are very soft and very cozy. This is how much yarn I have left from one skein. Not enough to make another pair, maybe enough to make just one more sock, but not a pair. And these socks are very comfortable, they are not tight, and I'm going to wear them to bed because in winter times I like sleeping in socks. This week I'm visiting my mom and I want to show you her crochet project. I give her all of my leftover yarns and she's very clever. She can come up with ways to use them up. For example, here she made a pile of hot pads. And these are quite thick because she crochets in two strands of yarn. And they can be used as hot pads or trivets. And they are quite thick. Um, these two are thin ones. They are made in one strand of yarn. So this could be just a little decoration. And here is another project that she works on. Again, 
This is all from Leftover Yarns. She's crocheting a little rug for her kitchen. And another project is right here. She made this chair cover and it's a corner to corner. And again, it's made from leftover yarns. And here are the finished scarves, lacy scarves. And I do have tutorials for both of them on my channel. I will link them in the description box below. Also, I finished the hat that I was going to make from this black yarn with white speckles. And I must say it was quite difficult working with the black yarn, but I really like the result. This hat looks quite lovely on me. And this is the same pattern as this one that I made just recently, and I do have a tutorial for it. So this is exactly the same pattern. And I, I really like this pattern and I really like the way this style of hat looks on me. And I have this much yarn left and I think this is going to be enough to make myself a pair of fingerless gloves. So I will have a little set. If you are still watching my video at this point, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for watching till the end. My YouTube channel is all about crochet. It's about me creating crochet tutorials and sharing them with my viewers. But in this kind of videos, in these vlog videos, I share with my viewers little bits of my life. And there is something that I want to share with you right now. The last couple of days have been awful for myself and my family here in the United States. But these days have been absolutely horrific for my family back in Ukraine. So I want to ask you, please pray. Please pray for Ukraine and its people. Please pray for my family in Ukraine. Please do whatever you can to help and support Ukrainian people in their fight for their freedom and their lives. Thank you. And may God bless you and keep you all safe.